Hey guys, Curzy here with the long-awaited update video to my free platinum bug. Uh, this has been long in the pipeline, as I'm sure some of you know. And since my last video, the creator of the tool actually reached out to me personally uh, with a completely revamped version. Uh, this time, it's got a plethora of features uh, that's kind of reminiscent of a like a full-on hack menu in uh, AAA games. So, uh, without any further ado, I'm just going to show you how it works and show you it in action before I get into uh, details. So, here we go. Uh, I've got my uh, Pocket Legends here open. Um, no, no platinum. Well, a decent amount of platinum. Uh, and I don't have enough to buy the Dracula set. Um, if I uh, don't have enough to buy the Dracula set, so sad. And I really, really want it. Uh, I'll go. And I'll show you. My stash as well, super quick, because that's where the items go at the end of the day. Um, yeah, so I can't buy the Dracula set, um, and I'm I'm pretty upset about that. So let me just put that to one side. I'll go ahead and I'll open up the tool. So I got it down on my tray, and basically, uh, upon first time use, you're greeted with this screen, very simple login screen. Uh, so I click login and then I'm routed to a page in Opera, uh, hosted on a secure server. So there we go. And you see, so I've already got uh, two accounts in. One's been logged out, the other one is pre saved. So the login info is pre saved. So it's not going to ask me for that typical uh, six digit uh, Spacetime Studios code. Um, but when I uh, click uh, the account that I've already got in, um, but when I uh, click uh, the account that I've already got in, it's going to kick me off the game, obviously, because the, the tools are the ones logging in. So um, if I were to be adding another account there, I could select the different type of login method. Um, but I've already got an account pre-saved on there. So uh, I'll click that and uh, it'll boot me off the game. Hasn't done that yet. Okay, so now the uh, the tool's open. So as you see on the left, I'm given three uh, drop-down menus. The first one being uh, recent generations, the second one being currency generation, and the third being uh, item generation. So that's really simple and intuitive. Uh, so I'll go into currency generation, and then I'll select uh, the currency generation, second drop down, uh, and then I'll select gold, and then I'll select 200 million, and then deliver time. I'll just select fastest. Uh, this essentially allows, allows you a bit of flexibility in terms of how obvious you want it to be that you're using this tool. Uh, some people get banned uh, with the last method due with the last method due to the overuse of it. So now you can uh, decide to take a slight bit of risk and, um, and get every bit of currency or items right away, or have them trickle in as time passes, so uh, you don't alert any. Uh, auto system that uh, Spacetime Studios has in place. So I'll select instant for the sake of this video and then you just go and hit apply and Windows will do a little pop up. There you go. So it's successful. And now we'll close that. Uh, we'll close our recents as well. And now uh, we'll go to the item set section. So there's a large selection of sets in here that have been proven to be able to be generated. Uh, I don't know what makes a set qualify exactly, uh, but there's a large selection and it gets very, very updated or it gets updated very uh, frequently. Uh, so you're going to see in bold here, the new uh, Halloween sets. Um, so we'll go and select uh, the Dracula set. And then here uh, you can select essentially which, which copy. So there's a few copies that are listed here that are going uh, that, that you can take. Uh, this one, uh, the just the first one here, is uh, the the hat, a wand, the chest plate, and a uh, Jacob. We'll do one of those. And 
go ahead. And that one went successfully through. And then up here in your recents, you want to do it again. We'll just do it again just for the sake of it. And there we go. Oh, one of my tunnel bears. There we go. So it's gone through uh, twice now, um, basically. So once you hear those little chimes from Windows, um, good to go back into my game. So and select my account. Da, 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 da. Now we'll just go over to the ship, I guess, because everything should be in the stash now. Remember, we got gold as well as item. And boom, check that out. So, oh, did I only select the 20 million option? Well, anyway, I guess if I only selected 20 mil, uh, there you go. <laughs> 20 mil goes. So, and here you go. You've got the hat, the wand, the chest plate, the shield, and uh, the Jacob. The Jacob pet. And then we can unstash all these and they're there boom So yeah, um, that's the tool in action uh, from start of the process to finish. Um, now, like last time, uh, this is not going to be a full public release that would definitely see the end of the game, that would kill the game. Uh, however, uh, I, I think a tool like this won't do too much harm uh, if it's rate limited. So uh, in that case, I will be doing uh, an application system like uh, like last time. Uh, you must fill out the form that I link in the description below completely uh, and then reach out to me via Discord once that's completed as well. Um, the entire process from start to finish is very quick. So uh, provided the amount of users of the tool is pretty low for that time period or I'm just online and, and I can get you in and I got nothing going on, uh, you should be ready to contact me via Discord uh, as soon as you apply. Um, so yeah, uh, once again, I appreciate the positive feedback and all the questions on the last video. Uh, it did get patched after a few months of being up. However, uh, this method is a lot more tried and tested. Uh, meant to last. It didn't. It didn't get released right away once we figured out how to actually uh, get it consistently working. Uh, 